Forest Inventory Part 1, Tree Measurement Tools, brought to you by the University of California Agriculture and Natural Resources and the Forest Stewardship Program. This video is part one of a four-part series designed to help forest landowners understand how to manage their forest lands and enable them to conduct an inventory of trees in their forest. Hi, I'm Susie Coker. I'm a forester for the University of California Cooperative Extension. And forest landowners ask me questions about their property. They want to know things like, is it too crowded? Is it fire safe? Uh, are the trees worth something? For all those questions, you have to have a quantitative answer. And so we have a system in forestry of measurements to be able to quantify what's on the landscape. This video will review basic tree measurement tools that allow you to get a quantitative snapshot of your forest. The tools you will learn how to use in this video are the diameter tape, Spencer loggers tape, and Biltmore stick or tree stick. When inventorying the trees in your forest, it's important to measure their height and diameter. First, I'll demonstrate how to use a diameter tape to measure the diameter of a tree. So it's important to know the diameter of the tree. We have a specialized instrument that we used in forestry called a diameter tape. And a diameter tape is specialized because it has some different scales on it so that you don't have to do math while you're in the field. Here is a normal tape, just like on every any kind of measuring tape. But on the other side, it's been divided by the magic number pi so that a circumference divided by pi is the diameter. Okay, now to measure the tree, I'm going to start at 4.5 feet off the ground. That's called breast height. And you would measure it on yourself. On me, it comes right here. You do it on the uphill side of the tree. Got a little handy hook. And then I'm going to walk around the tree, keeping it as level as I can until I get over to this side. And then I'm going to tighten it up. To this zero mark here and I read 34.4 inches in diameter. Like for any measurement tool, when using a D-tape it's important to pay attention to the zero point. On most diameter tapes there'll be a clearly marked zero, but on some the zero point may just be the end of the tape, and it may differ on either side. A Spencer's Loggers tape is a larger tool similar to the D-tape, with one side calibrated to measure diameter and the other side measuring normal distance. However, they're usually 50, 75, or 100 feet long and spring-loaded so they can retract automatically. Some Loggers tapes don't have a diameter calibration, but just have two different measurement units on each side, so make sure you pay attention to the units. Because of their length, Loggers tapes can also be useful for setting up inventory plots. Okay, there's another way to measure the diameter of your tree using a stick we call a Biltmore stick. And uh, it's less accurate than using the diameter tape, but it is less work and it may be accurate enough for your needs. So it's basically a stick that has a number of different scales on it. Mine has a little sign that shows me 25 inches from the edge. That's where you need to figure out how to hold it, 25 inches from your eyes. So I start here, I have my thumb on the little 25 inch line so that I can hold it right there. And if you hold it too close, or too far, it'll be less accurate. So what I'm going to do is remember where that is, and I'm going to come up to my tree, find four and a half feet off the ground, because you always want to measure at breast height, and I'm going to hold, hold it 25 inches from my eye. I'm going to put the left side of the stick, or the zero marker, whichever yours has, uh, lining up, and I'm going to hold it as flat as I can against the bark of the tree and not move my head. So on the left side, I see zero, and on the right side, without moving my head, I see about 35. 
So that's pretty close to what we got with the D-tape and probably close enough. The Biltmore or tree stick can also be used for measuring height. Standing 100 feet from the tree, hold the stick out 25 inches from your eye oriented vertically. Line up the bottom or zero with the base of the tree and without moving your head, sight up the stick to the top of the tree and read the height from the scale where your line of sight and the top of the tree intersect. For the 100 foot distance, tree height is read directly. 30% of 100 feet is 30 feet. However, it may be necessary to measure tree height from less than 100 feet. For example, if you stood 50 feet from the tree and the scale read 30, then the tree would be 30% of 50 feet or 15 feet tall. We hope you now feel comfortable using a D-tape, logger's tape, and Biltmore stick. In parts two and three, I'll discuss other tools that can be useful in forest inventory. For other resources, check out our Forest Stewardship webpage. Thanks for watching and happy measuring!